Hello, I hope you enjoyed the first video. Today we're going to move on with our journey in circus doing uh, more about juggling. So make sure you've got a good space around you. Make sure you're ready to start part two of circus. So we know we're moving towards this juggling cascade, getting them all to go up in the air. Now, some people go like this, go, look, I can do two, I can do two. And they have one going over the top and one underneath. This hand's throwing all of them. And this hand's catching all of them. And that's great for two. But when I have the third one, the white one is still in my hand. So we've got to learn to throw and catch with both hands. That's why rings are really good. Plates are possible, but a bit scary. And you also need the hole in the middle for some of the tricks. So making a ring out of cereal boxes and things are really good. And here's our first game. We're gonna have the ball like this. It's kind of like at about three o'clock. And my hands over here kind of like at nine o'clock. Now, many people will know the rhythm, the rhyme. Many people will know the rhyme. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to practice. So both of my hands are learning to throw and catch in that beautiful curve. It's good practice because my other hand is doing something as well. It's passing the ring underneath. Try and keep it in the middle of you, a bit like a steering wheel. Get yourself nice and steady, the cow jumping over the moon. Both of your hands throwing and catching steadily. Are we good? You can try a different one. This is the cow in the barn. The cow is in the barn. I'm going to throw it up, open the door, catch the cow. Throw it up, close the door, catch the cow. This is tricky because your hands are doing different things. My right hand is throwing and my left hand is turning. Ooh. Up and down, cow in the barn, out the barn, in the barn, out the barn. It's always important to do stuff on both sides. My left hand's not so good. Cow in the barn and out of the barn. People doing that really well. Here's a challenge for you. It's so tricky, I've put the ball down. The cow is in the barn. And then I'm gonna make a new hinge and put a different cow in another barn. Then I'm gonna make a new hinge and put this cow in this barn. I'm doing it really slowly because it's quite complicated. I learned this without a juggling ball at all. Cow in the barn, make a new hinge. Cow in the barn, make a new hinge. Cow in the barn, make a new hinge. Cow in the barn. How good will my throws need to be to get both the cows in? So that's two. That was cow jumps over the moon and the cow in the barn. The next game doesn't involve any cows at all. It involves the planet Saturn and the rings of Saturn. Can you see that I'm holding the ring flat now? And what's going to happen? The ball's going to go up through the middle. And I'm going to catch it on the outside, like that. Up through the middle, catch it on the outside. Up through the middle, catch it on the outside. Up through the middle, catch it on the outside. Up through the middle, catch it on the outside. Here we go, making it go round nice and smoothly. Now, I'm going to show you something that's really clever. Can you watch carefully the path of the red ball, the shape that it's making in the air? Can you remember that shape? It's going up through the middle and down the outside. How close is the path to this pattern? Is the ball going up and down in the same pattern? Look at the path of the red ball when I'm juggling like that. And now look at the path of the red ball it's pretty close. If you can do Saturn's rings like this, you're pretty close to three ball juggling because the ball is going in the right path and you're doing two other things with your hands. You're kind of throwing and catching the ring. So this is a really good practice. Well, remember the practices from the first one, throwing and catching, throwing from clapping, 
tapping and clapping. All the games to get your juggling really good so that when we get a video when three balls are involved, your hands will already know what to do. Hope you're enjoying the practicing and the next video will be exciting for you. Practicing a bit every day. I've got a friend who's got a ukulele and he says if the ukulele's in the case on the side, he never gets it out. But if it's out, when he's making a cup of tea, he practices. So my tip for you is to practice a little bit of juggling a few times a day because your hands get used to throwing and catching and by the end of the week, you'll be juggling.